Now it's time to up the ante with minted milk chocolate semi fredos. Now this is chocolate mousse, but in a frozen dessert form. This mousse recipe uses eggs, both the yolks and the whites. So I'll separate two eggs first. The whites for whipping later. And the yolks I'll cook in just a little bit. And as recommended, my eggs are at room temperature. And now it's time to take care of the milk chocolate. I have eight ounces of milk chocolate. This too is the baker's variety of chocolate that comes in chip form. So it melts very quickly. I ensure that my water is just letting off a little steam. I don't see any bubbles moving. Milk chocolate earns its name. It has more milk in it, less cocoa solids, and a fair amount of cocoa butter, and that makes it more fragile than dark chocolate. So you need that gentle heat. Okay, I've got my milk chocolate melted. I'll cool the chocolate a little bit, but it doesn't have to cool to room temperature. What I'm going to make is called a sabayon. It's that combination of egg yolks and sugar, two tablespoons, along with a liquid, a quarter cup of Irish cream liqueur. Irish cream liqueur has that beautiful sort of milk chocolate flavor to it, so it matches with this mousse perfectly. Now I need to go back to the stove, and this time I can increase the heat of my water bath up to high. Whisk vigorously until it's doubled in volume. And there we go. So you can see this mixture is pale and thick and twice the size as when I started. So now I've got warm chocolate and the warm egg mixture. So combining them is easy. I'll just use a whisk to stir this in. When you see it get all shiny and glossy and smooth, you know you're ready to stop. And now for the mousse part of the semi-fredo. First I'll whip the egg whites with a pinch of salt This time, only two tablespoons of sugar that I'll add as the whites are whipping to a soft heat. There we go, a nice soft peak. So I've got my whites ready and the other part, the whipped cream. I've already whipped my one and a half cups of whipping cream, so that's three cups now once whipped. To this, I'll add my flavoring, about a teaspoon of vanilla, while I'm known to free measure my vanilla and just pour it in, when adding an intense extract like peppermint, it is important to measure. So I'll add half a teaspoon to the whipped cream. And now it's time for the folding. Two additions. We've got a more advanced mousse here because we have the added element of the cooked egg yolks, the sabayon, with the Irish cream. But the folding technique is still the same. The final addition. Get that cream in there. There we go. And now the whipped egg whites, right at the very end. You could serve this mousse in cups, just like the dark chocolate mousse, but I find freezing improves the taste because whenever you freeze something sweet, it actually tempers the sweetness, so the other flavors come forward. So what you'll notice is that beautiful milk chocolate flavor and the hint of peppermint. You have a number of options for freezing the mousse. What I've done is laid out glasses so that I could set in to each a paper cone. This is the kind of cone you use beside the water cooler. To get it evenly into the cone, I prefer to use a piping bag. It's got a plain tip. I'll give this a little twist. And I put the twist in there. That way the mousse won't leak out the bottom as I'm filling it. There we go. Now, carefully, because the mousse is soft, and twist the piping bag. And fill the cones. Right up to the top. These are ready for the freezer. And I have a batch already frozen so I can show you what it looks like. Now, it's easy to handle and ready to plate. If I start at the tip, unpeel the paper. Reveal the cone and put it directly onto your plate. Then for a finishing touch, just a slight dusting of cocoa powder. And you could put an assortment of fresh berries or I have some fresh currants here. And now you've got a simple, elegant dessert right out of the freezer. It's soft and you can see that beautiful fluffiness. 